हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल स्टेप्स सो सिविल स्टेप्स हैज स्टार्टेड वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सीरीज दैट इज फॉर प्रीलिम्स 2022 सो टारगेट प्रीलिम्स 2022 इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल स्टेप्स विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स टू कवर द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री जोग्रफी पॉलिटी इकोनमी साइंस environment and current affairs so this target prelims 2022 series has started from 19th of december 2021 and will help you to cover more than 1000 important topics for prelims examinations target prelims 2022 has been designed keeping in mind the dynamic nature of the upsc civil services examinations hence target 2022 focus on overall preparation of a serious civil services aspirant and it will sail you through upsc civil services examination very smoothly so today we will discuss important mcqs of history so the first question is what is the common to the historical places known as ajanta and mahabalipuram first both are built in the same period second both belong to the same religious denomination third both have rock cut monuments so select the correct answer using the code given below option number a 1 and 2 only b 3 only c 1 and 3 only d none of the statements given above is correct so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section below i hope you have written the answer so the answer of this question is option number b 3 only first and second statements are wrong because ajanta that is buddhist caves are built from 2nd century bce to 5th century ce while mahabalipuram which is a hindu temple was built during 7 to 8th centuries by pallava kings so third statement is correct because both are rock cut monuments so these topics ajanta and mahabalipuram are very very important from prelims exam point of view so you can read more about ajanta and mahabalipuram from your standard sources so now let us discuss question number second regarding the taxation system of krishna dev the ruler of vijayanagar consider the following statements first the tax rate on land was fixed depending on the quality of the land second private owners of workshops paid an industry tax which of the statements given above are correct option number a one only b two only c both one and two d neither one nor two so you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section so the answer of this question is option number c both 1 and 2 in reign of krishna dev land revenue was the major source of income of the government to access the proper revenue entire land was classified into four parts the wet land the dry land the orchards and the woods the government also levied other taxes like the grazing tax the customs duty tax on gardening and industry tax on manufacture of various articles from the travelogue written by persian envoy abdur razagin the court of vijayanagar we find both statements are correct so this topic of vijayanagar kingdom is very very important so you should read the popular ruler of the vijayanagar empire krishna dev rai so you should read about this topic uh, in an holistic manner from your standard sources so this was all about question number second now let us discuss question number third with reference to the miya tansen which of the following statement is not correct option number a tansen was a title given to him by emperor akbar second tansen composed drupads on hindu gods and goddesses 
थर्ड तानसेन कंपोज सॉन्ग्स ऑन हिस पैटर्न डी तानसेन इन्वेंटेड मैनी रागास सो यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए तानसेन वॉज अ टाइटल गिवन टू हिम बाई एम्पर अकबर सो फ्रेंड्स फोकस ऑन द वर्ड नॉट करेक्ट नॉट करेक्ट वॉज आस्क इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो तानसेन इन्वेंटेड द नाइट रागा दरबारी कानरा मॉर्निंग रागा मन की तोड़ी मिड डे रागा मिया की सारंग सीजनल रागा मिया की मल्हार सो स्टेटमेंट नंबर डी इज राइट देयर फॉर एलिमिनेटेड बिकॉज वी हैव टू फाइंड रोंग स्टेटमेंट ही कंपोस्ट मैनी ध्रुपद्स ऑन गणेशा शिवा पार्वती एंड रामा ही ऑल्सो कंपोस्ट सॉन्ग्स ऑन हिज पैटर्न्स सो ऑप्शन नंबर बी एंड सी ऑल्सो एलिमिनेटेड तानसेन वॉज अ टाइटल गिवन टू हिम बाय राजा विक्रमाजीत ऑफ ग्वालियर सो ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग एंड देयर फॉर इट इज द आंसर सो दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज आस्क बाय यू पी एस सी इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन सो नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ द वेल नोन पेंटिंग बनीठनी बिलोंग्स टू द वट ऑप्शन नंबर ए बूंदी स्कूल बी जयपुर स्कूल सी कांगड़ा स्कूल डी किशनगढ़ स्कूल सो यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी किशनगढ़ स्कूल पेंटिंग्स एट किशनगढ़ इज एसोशिएटेड विद द मोस्ट रोमांटिक लीजेंड्स सवंत सिंह एंड हिज बिलविड बनीठनी एंड द इंटर इंटरविनिंग ऑफ लाइव एंड मिथ्स रोमांस एंड भक्ति इट इज समाइम्स आर्ग्यूड दैट द वुमेन इन बनीठनी इज सेड टू रिजेंबल द करेक्टर ऑफ राधा सो दिस थीम ऑफ पेंटिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम यू पी एस सी प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो यू पी एस सी हैज ऑलरेडी आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट पेंटिंग्स सो यू पी एस सी हैज आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑन जहांगीर ऑल्सो हु वॉज द मेन प्रोपोगेटर ऑफ पेंटिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट सो यू शुड कवर दिस टॉपिक पेंटिंग फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड सोर्सेज इन आर्ट एंड कल्चर सो नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट सेंट निम्बर्ग वॉज अ कंटेम्प्रेरी ऑफ अकबर सेकेंड सेंट कबीर वॉज ग्रेटली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय शेख अहमद सर हिंदी Which of the statements given above are correct? Option number A, one only; B, two only; C, both one and two; D, neither one nor two. So you can pause this video and write your answer in the comment section. So the answer of this question is option number D, neither one nor two. So in the thirteenth century, Nimberg and Vallabhacharya were also other preachers. of vaishnavite bhakti in the telangana region akbar was 15th century so unlikely to be contemporaries so statement number 1 is wrong nakshbandi school degraded sufism to the status of a handmaid of orthodox islam sheikh ahmed sir hindi 1563 to 1624 became the leading spokesman of the school after akbar death his teachings were not confined to the reform of islam he advocated a crusade against the hindus so it's unlikely that kabir would be greatly influenced by such hardcore radical element so second statement is wrong besides kabir das timeline is 1398 or 1440 to 1518 so he was long dead before sir hindi was ever born so this topic of akbar you can read more about him and about bhakti saints from uh, standard sources upsc has already asked questions in mains uh, from bhakti movement and this year in 
UPSC has asked question on bhakti literature so you can cover this topic from standard sources so UPSC has uh, already asked some questions on which is the com- contemporary of uh, who is the contemporary of whom something like that so you should cover this topic also from standard sources so this was all about today's video i hope you like the video so you can subscribe the channel and you can also press the bell icon thank you very much thank you very-